What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be showing you guys how to mount a few things to your Roam box. So if you guys are looking to get a Roam box or if you guys have a Roam box already, they make this really nice modular panel that can go on the inside of the lid. They also have a bag version that you can open the Velcro and put something in and then close it. On this specific one here, we have their modular panel or Molly panel on the inside of the lid and we're going to show you guys how to mount a couple of things to it. This specific one is made by Gray Man Tactical. They make super amazing stuff and they made this specific one for the Rome case. So on this table here we have a few things that we're going to be showing you guys how to install onto the lid. So first we have a fish guard axe. We're going to show you guys how to mount this with a quick fist um, mount. We have a mod light and we're going to show you how to use that with a smaller version of the quick fist. And then most importantly, we have the Running for Tacos Molly mounts. This is going to allow you to mount the quick fist to mount the accessories that you guys will need to your box. So first what we're going to do is we're going to grab our Molly mount. I'm going to open this up and then show you guys what's in there. So included, there's going to be four total Molly mounts stainless steel hardware for it and washers for each one so first what we need to do we'll grab a molly mount a washer and a stainless steel button head bolt so we are going to mount the axe first so what we will need are the standard size quick fists and then you can find these at runningfortacos.com we normally have these in stock at all times and then of course we will need two of the molly mounts with the stainless steel hardware so i'm going to show you guys how to assemble it so in the uh, quick fist box it'll come with um, some plastic washers and you don't need those so what you're going to be using is just the stainless steel washers that come in the uh, molly mounts so what you need to do is just open the clamp up for the actual quick fist and then just install the hardware right in there and then go ahead and start threading it in. So once you have it like this we're going to use a drill just to make it go by quicker. We will go ahead and thread it all the way till it bottoms out. Then I'm actually going to show you guys how to do this two ways. One, you feed it behind here so we'll have the raised side towards you. So feed it back there and then seat it in place just like so, and then it will lock itself in place. So now it can only go from side to side and it can't go anywhere else. But it's a pretty snug fit, so it should be able to hold itself in just like that. But just in case, put your finger back there and then grab your quick fist with the installed um, bolt and then just start it. So just turn it like so. And then once you feel the tension, once it starts getting tighter, you can go ahead, position it to wherever you want, like right there, and then we will tighten it completely. Now it's solid. So do that to the other side as well, and you can have um, these ready to, be, uh, to mount your X or whatever you guys are mounting. The other way of installing it is actually you install this onto the Molly mount, and then you kind of just feed it back there and then pull it forward, which I will show you guys with the smaller quick fist um, that we're going to mount our flashlight with. Once you guys have both quick fists mounted where you guys want it to be, we'll grab our axe or whatever you guys are mounting. We'll feed in to the quick fist. Like so. Have it all the way in. And then pull your quick fist as far back as it will go. Do the same for the front. Now you guys have your axe fully mounted into your lid and then you can still open and close it without any issues. So this is a really nice way to get it off of the bottom. That way you guys can still have a bunch of stuff on the bottom and utilize the space on top. Next up, we are going to install the smaller version of the quick fist to mount our mod light. 
So same steps. This one will not come with a plastic washer um, like the standard size will. However, you won't need it anyways because you're going to install the stainless steel hardware that we provide with the molly mounts. So same exact procedure. Start the hardware through the actual um, quick fit. We get it all the way to the bottom and then we can install the actual molly mount to it and then put it wherever you'd like. So for example we want it right here and this one you only need one so you won't actually need two of the quick fists so we're going to install it just right here. So same thing we're just going to feed it to the back side here and then make sure you turn it vertically so that way it is opposite of the actual molly panel itself and then once you have it vertically you can go ahead and tighten it down all the way and then the hardware we provide is long enough but not long enough to actually hit the back side of the um, of the lid so it won't damage it in any way um, and we made it specifically to the quick fist so if you guys are using something thinner than a quick fist then it might hit but it is a standard M6 bolt if you guys need to get something smaller. So once you guys have the smaller quick fist installed, open it up and cinch down your flashlight or whatever you'd like. So now you guys can see there, fully mounted off the ground or off the bottom of the case. And you know, you can still utilize the whole entire bottom, like I said before, and now the top. Okay guys, that is gonna be it for this video. We just wanted to show you guys how you guys can mount a quick fist to your Roam box using the Molly panels that you guys can buy optionally with the Roam case. So that's gonna be it for this video. We will have this case, the panel, the quick fist and everything else down in the description if you guys are interested in picking that up. Like I said before, we stock these quick fists and these box sometimes so if you guys want to support the channel and purchase from us um, please use the link down below but if you guys are not subscribed to the channel already make sure you guys are subscribed and we'll see you guys in the next video peace